Hello everyone, this is Lena Kears from Inspired Creations. I'm a Canadian independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And today I have this cool card to show you. I learned this card from Rachel Tessman and it's a pocket card, a crisscross pocket card. So inside this pocket is your your white card for stamping on, writing on. And then you can add something to the pocket if you'd like, like a packet of seeds or a gift card or anything else that's small enough to fit in here. So it looks maybe more complicated than it is, but I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So let's get started. So we're going to start with an eight and a half by 11 sheet and we're going to score it at five and a half and then cut it at four and a quarter. So let's do that first. So scoring five and a half. And then we'll turn it around and four and a quarter. So there we go. So I'm just going to slightly fold so I know where the folds are. There we go. And then we're going to put them over top of each other and then we're going to cut from the center fold at one edge, edge to the point on the opposite diagonal. So we'll put the points in the tray and the edge of the score line there in the tray and we will cut them but don't cut into your point because you will ruin your point. So just go back and forth, make sure you've got both thicknesses cut and there we go. Now these pieces you don't need, you can save them for another project and we'll put the cutter away. So now we're going to um, score these a little better. Now we want both of these pieces with the, the points at the bottom. So the point is here and the point is here. There's another card that you can do something like this with, but that's not the crisscross card. So let's not confuse the issue. Okay, so now the best thing is to use is the, the liquid glue for this. And you want to make sure that everything is nice and straight. If it's not, you can just adjust your score line for a bit. Okay, and I'm going to use my liquid glue all around the rectangle here. And just lay it right in this one, making sure the card can easily close. So there we go. And we're just going to let that dry for a few minutes while I'm explaining to you about the rest of the pieces. So I was running out of this um, Blushing Bride, not not the cardstock, but the, the DSP that kind of went along with it. So I had to change my colors for this video. So we're using this here and this. Okay, so we've got one piece of DSP, which is five and a quarter by four. And we're, we'll be cutting that in a minute too, and I'll show you how. This is um, three and three quarters by five and an eighth. And then I have the flower ready to stamp. And this is the label for this label right here. Okay, so we're gonna bring the cutter back in to, to cut the DSP. Oops. Okay, so we have to decide how we want this DSP to look. So do we want it to sit, like we're gonna cut it on the diagonal here, but it's important to consider the back doesn't matter which way the flowers go, but this does. So do I want it sitting like this? Do I want it sitting like this? And these flowers are kind of upside down, so I think I'll do it like this. So I'm going to cut from this corner up to that corner. So again, lay both points in the cutting trough there. And starting somewhere in the center. And 
there we have our pieces. So this piece is going to go on here. And then this one we're going to flip and do the back side, and it's going to come on here. So now you have to decide which way, which one do you want over the over top of the other one. Do you want the flowers to show more, or do you want this DSP to show more? Okay, so I think I'm going to do it the opposite. This my sample here. I did the flowers underneath. So you don't see a lot of the flowers because a lot of it's covered. So that's why we're doing it this way. So we're just going to go ahead. Oh, before we do that, though, one thing I forgot to do when I made my first card, I need that little scrap I had for the label. All right, lost it already. It ended up in the pocket. Well, it's a one inch piece by about three and a half. So we'll just quickly cut another piece. I don't have it here. Okay. always has to go wrong of course when you're making a video okay so this is going to be the label that goes across here so we're going to stamp the thanks on it and then we have to cut it so we want we want the whole point to be there so let's just stamp it first I guess Stamps here somewhere. Oh, right here. So I'm stamping it way to the right side because we'll be trimming some of this off. So I want it. It doesn't matter if we go off on the right because we can trim that too. But I think I'll put it kind of close to that edge and have it going over here and then I'll turn it over and trim that off. So let's put this ink away before I make a mess. And just use a little bit of glue. And I'll use this. Okay, something like that is good. And then we'll just turn it over and trim it off. There we go. So now we've got it a nice nicely aligned with the diagonal. Okay. So we can put that on there. Here we go there, and now this other side, we're going to glue the other way. Shame to cover these pretty flowers, isn't it? Okay, so you can, it looks pretty like this, and it looks pretty like this. So either way is perfectly acceptable. There's no right or wrong. 
So I'm going to use some tear and tape. And I'm going to put it right across this bottom edge here. And glue it right down. So make sure it's nicely aligned here. There we go. Now this one is going to, so this closes the pocket. So there's no hole for, for the pocket here. Now this one is not as important, but we still want to stick it down. So we're just going to do the same thing. There we go. Tuck that little bit of extra adhesive in. There we go. So there's your pocket. That really wasn't very hard, was it? So we're just going to take a piece of ribbon now and tie a knot. Whoa, I didn't give myself very much room. I think we'll take another piece because I would just mess it up on the video. So make sure your, your thing is long enough, your ribbon, to tie a knot. And you can still move this around, so not a big deal. Make sure you hold it down securely so that you don't have it too loose. Come on. And actually, that's kind of where I want it to sit anyway. So, let me just trim this off. That's better. And I think I'll just add a little glue dot underneath that just to secure it. So right under the knot. Just put a glue dot. Okay, so now we're going to work on our flowers. So I've stamped them in Memento Black, and I'm going to stamp the color on them with uh, not the purple like here, but because this paper is, is more of the blue, I'm using Misty Moonlight and uh, Mint Macaron. So, I'll just put a scrap paper underneath here. But I do it like this. So these are all the pieces that are included with the set. Well, it's not all of them, there are more, but the ones that we need for today. So let's put the leaves away because we don't want green flowers. And how's that stamping? Okay. So that's the big one. Now these are not meant to be exact. So if you want exact, you can color them with your blends. If you're okay with just um, this kind of coloring, then you can use this. Okay, there we go. We'll clean as we go, I guess. I have my little um, I'll just show you it's it's really black and dirty, but I have it up beside me all the time, and I just clean my stamps as I go. Okay, then we've got oh another. Little one here. Not sure exactly which way this one's supposed to go. Maybe like this. Okay. 
And then we've got the little double flower here. They're attached. And we'll just stamp them like this. Here we go, that's pretty quick stamping. And then we'll put the Misty Moonlight away and take out the mint macaron. So we've got two sizes of leaf fill-in. Oh, stick that one. There we go. Okay. So this is the bigger one. Well, that's it for that one. And then the little one. It's definitely quicker than using the blends. It's a different look. I love the blends too and I use them a lot. But I want to give you some options and show you that this works very quickly too. So there's the flower bouquet. And we can put this all away. Okay, now let's just add some of, of these genial gems to the centers of the flowers. I'm going to put a big one in the bigger ones. and a smaller one and the medium size one oh, didn't pick up <laughs> okay i'm not putting it in the small ones now we want this to sit just along this edge here but we can't, of course, have dimensionals right in here because it'll stick to the card or to the inside of the pocket. So I'm just going to put dimensionals between leaf to leaf on the bottom. So this is the bottom. And here are my dimensionals. Maybe we could put one more over here. Okay, so how does that look to you? Don't want to go outside the pocket. This is perfect. Okay, so now we're ready to do the inside now. You don't need to have a pull-out ribbon. You can if you want. Oh, it's kind of sticking to something inside there. So if you don't have this little punch, it's a retired one. And um, so we don't sell it anymore. It makes a, a nice little slot there. And I'll show you how I used it and how I did the pull-out. But if you don't have it, it's fine just to put the card in the way it is. Because it's easy to, to pull in and out this way too. Okay, so it's this little punch here, and I just marked a dot kind of in the center, so I would know where that is. So put the center of the, or the dot in the center of your slot, and you want to give it a little bit of, don't cut too close to the top of the edge because then it won't have any strength. And you're just cutting that out, and there you go. So then if you come in from, fold your ribbon in half, it's, I don't know, four inches or so. Put it in through the back, pull it to the front, then make a loop from where the fold is and pull it, push the, the ends through there. And then carefully pull it tight.
and you can use a narrower ribbon if you like, but I just want to use the same ribbon that I used for the card. And this ribbon is from the Flowers for Every Season in the annual catalog. Oh, last year's annual catalog. It's very pretty ribbon though. Okay, so this is just going to go in here and you can stamp or write whatever you want. I think I would be tempted to write on the left side here or maybe stamp a message and then write something down at the bottom here so the handwriting doesn't show, but it, that's a personal preference. So there's the card. Isn't that pretty? And really not very hard at all. So that's it for today. Here's all my information. And I will add the instructions, uh, all the sizes, to the bottom of this video. So my Facebook page, my online store, and my host code for this month. It's all right there. Okay, and that's it for today. Bye-bye.